<laughs> yeah, actually, I had this one session. Um, I went with my dad to to Rocagne. It's a uh, like a 50 minute drive. It's a pretty nice spot when uh, we have offshore winds in Scheveningen, the easterly winds. You can go there, and yeah, it's pretty nice. And um, I actually uh, had a had a pretty bad uh, accident there. I um, I was kiting uh, there for for a little while, and then I came back because uh, the wind uh, just shifted offshore. And you have like pretty big dunes there. And I was, yeah, I was a 10 year old kid. My dad told me, get off. And uh, actually the the wind just completely died on me and the kite was stalling out of the sky. And then Mm -hmm. there there was this massive gust coming. So I just, I flew up in the air, uh, probably not that high, but five meters or something. Then I dropped back down again. And then all of a sudden it was just black from my eyes. So, uh, but then this is the part you won't believe it. There was Ruben Lente. I When I opened my eyes back up again, he was just above my head like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, hey, man, am I dreaming or something? Or what is this? <laughs> so that is actually the first time I met him. And I was like, yeah, he's, he's actually a pretty cool dude. You know, I you never spoke to him personally, but then it went wrong for me. And, and he was just there asking if I was okay. So, yeah. Then it was just clear, like he, he, yeah, he's really, really cool dude, you know. So that also inspired me, you know, to always, uh, always keep out for everyone and always look out on the water. So yeah, that's that's something I, I, I got from a lot of people. I think that that you could describe as the first real moment when I was like, oh damn, this these guys are next level, you know. Nice. So it's not only impressive that they are great riders, but it also impressed you that they are kind and, and looking out for the other guys on the beach? Yeah, man. It's it's like I can, especially now, I can really understand uh, if if you're in, in a position of, of them, you know, all the, the, whole, the whole kite scene knows you and you could just think, yeah, I'm going to just be lay low if I'm doing a personal session, just chill out and not be really out there in the in the crowd. But yeah, you know, when it, For me, when it went wrong, I was a little kid. You know, he was there. He took he took the kite and everything. So yeah, that's yeah. It's it's. I think they're just real. You, there's no question. They are just real water water men, and they won't know what they're doing. Maybe they even had the, something like that themselves. So yeah, it's it's really nice, man. Those guys are not only next level with the uh, with the riding, but they're also next level people. You know, they're yeah, super super great. I think nice. Yeah, man. nice. Yeah, you know that that's something. Um, so for 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 everybody who's listening, who is just into wing foiling, I think many guys have a kite surfing background that are listening to us, but uh, some might not. Um, they might have a wind surfing background or SUP or I don't know. So in kite surfing, at least from my experience, it's easy to become a decent level rider, but then you hit a plateau and it really becomes hard to progress. But And sometimes you can't tell when you're at the beach, right? You see, you you can't really tell like who's just a great rider and who's like exceptional good because if if somebody's not really, yeah, yeah, you know, know like you hitting it hard or the conditions are not that good, but if so, if you see somebody yeah. helping uh, in the water or at an accident, you need a great level of experience, you know, to fly a kite in or to help someone body track in or stuff like that and read the waves and read the currents. And, yeah, man. and that's really what, what also impresses me if I see somebody like taking care of an accident or something like that in a, in a relaxed mindset, you know, like aware of what he can do. It's, it's just awesome. Yeah, man, it, it, that's true. And, Yeah, for me, I'm now a bit older, a bit uh, more experienced for sure uh, from from back then. But I I still remember how it is, you know, uh, you know, and not even uh, for all the young kids out there, but also just everyone who's just into kiting. When something happens, even on the water, and you don't know what what happens, it's always nice to to yeah to be able to trust. Like, okay, there are guys on the water who can help me out, and yeah, in Scheveningen being uh, being a, wa- a wave spot, it's just it's the sea. It's it can get rough, you know. Uh, And yeah, no, it's not always you not always have the time to wait for the lifeguards or the the big rescue boats mm-hmm. to come help. And yeah, it, it's it's pretty nice to know uh, that there are guys that uh, that can really help you. So yeah, you know when when I'm out with my friends on the water on a on a good day, uh, we always yeah we always you know it we don't have to tell each other, but we look out for each other and we look out for the rest. And mm-hmm. yeah, we we have sometimes when we 
<laughs> when the rescue guys come over to us, like, thanks, man, you already uh, took care of the fourth guy today with the kite. Because, yeah, for them, it's also hard, you know. The, they don't know mm-hmm. how to handle the kite and, and everything. And, yeah, it's it's just super easy. If you know how to do it, to how to rescue someone or to handle the kite in the water, it, it can really make a massive difference. So, yeah, definitely for everyone who's... Uh, Who's listening also maybe just take the time to try it out uh how do you handle a kite on the water how do you help out someone else yeah 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 and also you know be be nice to each other that's that's a big lesson for me also like i always remind myself like if i can help you know like i always try to help yeah. sometimes i also realize that some situations like gonna be out of my capabilities you know yeah like if there's really a three good, meter yeah. swell or something like that i i probably can't fly a kite in you know but then you still can help the guy you know and tell him hey let let your kite go and i body track you inside or whatever you know like grab my ball exactly and, yeah. yeah yeah all yeah, right man, for sure i think uh i think yeah for everyone uh who's listening i i if i if i want to give you one thing from from this recording is just look out for each other a bit more I see a lot of times, you know, something happens and everyone is just kiting by. Just even though if you don't have the skill, just ask us if the guy's okay. That that makes mm-hmm. a huge difference for the mindset of the the guys in the water as well, you know. So yeah, mm-hmm. cool, great advice. <laughs>